Coley and Zay Zay Zang, you know, you have Africa versus Asia, you feel me? The the Democratic Republic of Congo versus China, you know, the big man out the jungle versus the big man out the forest. Well, I mean, technically the Congo, they have forest, rainforest too, but you know, it, it, it just sounds better when you say the lion of the jungle, because you know what we talking about, you know what I'm talking about? So <laughs> we gonna keep it with the jungle for the, for the thing that we doing right now, you know? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Man, check this out. We have news out of Zayle Zhang's camp, man. Big Bang Zhang. Yes, sir. We have been given a hint. Well, I should just say no. It's been revealed who Zayle Zhang is going to fight next. You know what I'm saying? According to Frank Warren uh, with Queensberry Promotion, who was a promoter of Zayle Zhang, he had an interview with Seconds Out, and he said that, hey, man, he'll be fighting Joseph Parker again. Because that, that fight indeed had a rematch clause. And those of you that don't know, you know, Joseph Parker and Zayle Zayn had a very close match. Um, that Zayle Zayn just happened to come up on the short end of the stick. We know he came up with the short end of the stick. Um, so, you know, Zayle Zayn, though, he hit him and his team have all intentions to enact and enable that rematch clause. We should be getting that next. However, however... Those of you that pay attention to boxing, you know, boxing typically and often <laughs> doesn't go as planned, right? It doesn't go as uh, it doesn't go as according to plan. So we may think it's going to happen. It probably should happen. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen, man. You know, so sometimes things things may pop up. And, you know, one of those things that may pop up, insert Martin Bacoli. There's going to be another uppercut. Is this the end of Anderson? You know what I'm saying? So Martin Bacoli has been issuing a, um, a challenge to Zayle Zhang and Zayle Zhang. Apparently, he's been hearing it and he's he's ready to oblige. The, the 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 Big Bang. He came out and said, "Hey man, you know a lot of people call calling for me, and I see Martin Bacoli. He looks good, and I'm ready to oblige. You know, we could get that fight next potentially." And he said that he'll get him out of there in five rounds. What yeah. did he yeah, say? Yeah. Five rounds. I said, "Hey, yo, this man." <laughs> Yo, this this fight would be spectacular, man. You know what I'm saying? If they ever did fight, you know, we got we got um Bacoli and Zayle Zhang, you know, you have Africa versus Asia, you feel me? The the Democratic Republic of Congo versus China, you know, the big man out the jungle versus the big man out the forest. Huh? Well, I mean, technically the Congo they have forest, rainforest too, but you know, it, it just sounds better when you say the lion of the jungle, because you know what we talk about, you know what I'm talking about, so <laughs> we gonna keep it with the jungle for the, for the thing that we doing right now, you know, so I, I think that fight will be spectacular, I hope it happens, you know, we got Martin Bacoli, you know, he's coming fresh off of his win um, against Jared, hold on, I just thought about something, both Zayle Zang and Martin Bacoli, they've been bullying America, what's up with that, fellas? <laughs> Bill, Big Bang Zhang, his last fight was against Deontay Wilder, who's American, and and and, and he knocked him out, cleaned him up. And then we have uh, 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 Martin Bacoli, whose last fight was against Jared Baby Anderson, who he also knocked down and cleaned up. Yo, what we doing, man? Y'all gonna stop picking on us, man. But anyway, all, all jokes aside, though, man, you know, uh, uh, Zayle Zhang, his last fight was against Deontay Wilder. And the, and while he did win in a spectacular fashion, you can only beat who's in front of you. You know, let's be honest, you know, Deontay Wilder is well past his prime. And, um, you know, he probably, he, 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 he's just, uh, he's really just shelling himself. But he's, but he's still a big name, you know what I'm saying? He's still a big uh, 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 name to have on your resume and, and a resume builder. But, you know, we know that Deontay Wilder hasn't been the same since after his uh, trilogy with Tyson Fury. And then that, that, that was go to Martin Bacoli. Martin Bacoli had a spectacular Win. I actually called that one, you know. I'm proud of that, you know. I, we we call a lot of fights, man. Don't get it twisted. So yeah, we uh we called that one correctly, and uh, we had Bacoli for the upset, and he definitely came through. But you know, Jared Big Baby Anderson, you know, he was considered, I thought, pretty prematurely as the next face of American heavyweights, right? And I just thought that this was a major step up for him. So big salute to Jared Anderson for, for stepping up. You know, no knock on it. He showed some heart and some grit that I wasn't expected to see from him. He, so he, he impressed me. But I did think that Bacoli was going to be too much because, let's face it, Jared Anderson, he was kind of under the top rank Bob Arum. I don't want to say protection program, but they, they they took him along slowly. And this was a major jump step up in competition. And we know that Jared Anderson has 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 uh, admittedly himself, you know, he has self admittedly said that he's not really too dedicated to the to the sport like that. You know, and if you don't have a passion for the sport, then Bacoli is the wrong opponent for you. You know, and he proved that. So um, so really, we have Bacoli and, and, and Big Bang Zhang. I would prefer that fight over a Zhang versus Parker rematch. But that's still a good fight. You know, what I'm saying, like I said, they both have a lot of 
Cobb, and they're both big men. They both uh, uh, punch hard. You know, I would say Bacoli, his, his hand speed is, is slightly underestimated, even though he's pretty much, uh, he, he punches pretty slow as well, but I think he put, has faster hand speed than uh, Zhang, and they're both strong, but I would say that Zhang is slightly more powerful, you know, as, as far as one-shot power goes. So I think this fight could go either way, man. I like Big Bang. I've always liked Big Bang Zhang. I, I like Martin Bacoli, you know what I'm saying? And it, it just sets up the the, the uh, big battle between uh, uh, two huge continents, man, in Asia and Africa, man, and uh, and Zhang and Bacoli, uh, respectively. So I look forward to this fight, man, if, if this fight can happen. But I would be happy to see the uh, Joseph Parker rematch, too, you know? And, and maybe Martin Bacoli could go and try to fight somebody like uh, a Jit Caballel or something like that, or, or you know, so or, or anybody, you know, if, if Zayle Zhang maybe gets Anthony Joshua if Anthony Joshua beats Dubois or if he loses to Dubois, maybe Bacoli could go another direction. And maybe he could even fight Joseph Parker or, or a lot of these other heavyweights that are out there, man, you know, or even Philip Hergovich. We don't want him to fall off the map either. But, you know, so I, I think there's a lot of options, man. Um, I just thought it was very interesting that Zhang said he'll get Bacoli out of there in five. And, and Bacoli's been calling out Zhang. So hopefully that they could make this fight happen. And, and, and Zhang said that he's ready to oblige Bacoli's, Bacoli's uh, call out. So this fight will be tremendous man spectacular straight fireworks i don't know who i would have winning um that's a tough one i can't even call it right now you know i think i think it's 50 50 fight um yeah, they both look great. I would I would say, though, for the last opponents, I, I know that Jerry Big Baby Anderson was a prospect, you know, uh, slightly above a prospect. And Deontay Wilder was, is, is a heavyweight great, but slightly past his, uh, not slightly, way past his prime. So I would say as far as their last wins go, um, I would say that Bacoli's a little more impressive. Jared, Ander- Jared Anderson, um, the version of Jared Anderson that he fought, he's an up-and-coming prospect. I think that he's better than what Deontay Wilder was when he fought Zhang. So I would have to lean towards Bacoli having a slightly better, more impressive uh, uh, last outing, the last time we've seen him, you know, his last fight success. So I would say that's slightly better. That would be in Bacoli's favor. But of course, Zhang has a better opposition as as far as all the, their their uh, entire resume goes, you know, with, with, with him knocking out Joe Joyce. And, you know, he dropped Joseph Parker twice in route to a majority decision loss. Um, and some people had Zhang winning, but, you know, he did lose that fight. So uh, I think this fight is good, man. I think this fight would be great. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Do you think Frank Warren should uh, should should, should uh, allow this uh, rematch clause to take place? Because, of, of course, you mean, if they enable it, it happens. But Or do you think they should just skip to Bacoli? I like the latter, man, over the former. You know, I wouldn't mind the former uh, Zhang and, and, and Parker rematch, but I'd much rather see Bacoli, you know what I'm saying, the king of the Congo versus Versus um, uh, uh, Big Bang Zhang, the king of China. You know what I'm saying? That'd be a fire fight, man. Fire. I appreciate y'all. As always, don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.